you got yourself an old whatever electronic device that takes batteries <clears throat> and either you or someone else forgot to take the batteries out <laughs> so you have a corroded battery compartment um, and that shit in some cases can be all but impossible to try and get all of that crud scratched off of there and you clean it off and you come back uh, you know six months a year later and it's corroded again because there's still the the crap that's leaked out of the the battery there's still some residue left on there and it's just you know progressive and it just keeps eating through it um but there is a a good thing it's easy to clean off and a lot easier than people realize uh now this little radio belongs to my mother <laughs> and uh she's going to be baking christmas cookies and she doesn't she's got a you know in her 80s and she's you know took years for me to get her to figure out how to use an ipod um but she likes to use this little radio in the kitchen um, when she's, you know, going to be out there for, you know, days on end <laughs> doing the Christmas cookies. Um, dozens and dozens and dozens of batches of cookies. So I want to get this little thing fixed up for her. So she, you know, she, she remembered she had this and she pulled it out and sure enough, she took the battery compartment door off and yeah, it's, she's left the set of batteries in it. So the terminals are corroded. Um, like I say, luckily it's easy to clean off. Now the batteries alkaline batteries okay alkaline they're alkali so they're on one end of the pH scale so what we want to do is, is use some type of acid or the opposite on the pH scale to help neutralize that now you don't want to go using something drastic like sulfuric acid because it's going to be just as bad as the crap you're cleaning off and it's going to eat it in half so what we want is a very mild acid well most kitchens are going to have vinegar now, I use distilled white vinegar, put it in these little bottles, and this is my bench bottle. It just, you know, it's, that's what it gets used for. Um, you know, a lot of people think, why in the hell do you have vinegar on your electronics bench? Just for stuff like this. So here's the contact strip. Luckily, it only leaked out on one side. But here's the radio. The terminals on this side that actually have the positive and negative connections, they're fine. It was a little uh, strip that goes on the other end that connects the two batteries in series, and I was able to just pull that out with a pair of pliers. So it's in here and you can see all that white crud well all that white crud is the crap that leaked out of the battery so we take our little bottle of vinegar here and dribble some on just some of this I don't know if you can hear that but I, I can even hear that fizzing away and you can see exactly what it does it's neutralizing and like I say this is a very mild acid. It's vinegar. I mean, you, you eat vinegar, you can drink vinegar. It's not going to hurt you, so it's very mild. But it nonetheless is an acid, so it cleans off all of that crap. And then once you're done with this, you know, because it is an acid, so even it can cause corrosion, well, you can see it just a bubbling away down there, isn't it? Um, what you can do is, you know, just scrub it off with an old toothbrush, and uh in water that'll just wash it away and it'll be good as new you know just keep adding some vinegar until you because as as they mix together you're going to be you know because there's an alkaline and acid in there they're basically neutralizing each other so you know eventually the vinegar starts to lose its potency so every once in a while just you know squirt a little bit of fresh in there but uh it's still bubbling away in there but uh, that's all you need to do. Just a little bit of household. Now, I like to use the white vinegar because it doesn't really smell and it's clear and it's distilled. So, you know, I don't have to worry about impurities and whatnot. But uh, that's all is required. Just a little bit of, of vinegar. It's still bubbling away down there. And usually if something like this, what I'll do is I'll just let it sit for several minutes. I'll just set, slide it off to the side. So, actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the video here. And then uh, once it's done, I'll come back and show you what it actually looks like cleaned up. Um, and we can see the end result of what uh, just a little bit of household vinegar can do for cleaning up your corroded battery terminals. Okay, so fizzing action has pretty much completely ceased inside here. Um, and you can see there's no chunks of that white residue left anymore. And actually... This thing must be steel. 
<laughs> there's no corrosion on it. That's that's almost got to be steel. <laughs> or stainless steel, actually. Man, there's just nothing left in there. As far as corrosion, you know, the residue out of the... But you can see, it's like brand new. All that white crud out of the battery's gone. Now, like I say, I'll just run that under a faucet in a sink. And, uh... I can slide that back into the uh, compartment there, and her little radio will be ready to go. And of course now, yeah, I do electronics repair for a living, and this thing looks like it's got some age to it, so yeah, I can't leave anything, can't leave well enough alone, so I'll probably go ahead and pop it out and replace the electrolytic cap, so there's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so yeah, it's got seven electrolytic capacitors, so I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, <laughs> replace those, like I say, just force a habit, <laughs> but uh, there we go, there's the... Uh, not a sign of corrosion on there at all. Now, normally, like I say, these, uh, that's a, actually, it's, oh, I grab a magnet. I said it's got to be steel. Yep, it is. <laughs> that's why it's not green. But uh, normally what you'll have is these will be made out of copper, and they'll be tinned, and you'll see actually copper underneath a lot of times. Um, you know, bare copper. It's not going to hurt anything. Actually, you know, if you put a little bit of, uh, because copper will oxidize, that's why they're tinned. Um, what you can do to prevent that now, if you have you know, fancy products like I use here on the bench, you can use something like Deoxit Shield, apply a little bit of that. That's a corrosion inhibitor. But uh, something else you can use, another product that most households are going to have is Vaseline. Vaseline makes a very good dielectric grease. So you know after you've cleaned it off and flushed it off, you know if it's if it you know you have bare copper showing, if it's not steel like this one is. What you can do is just put a little bit of uh, Vaseline on a Q-tip and apply it to all, you know, all those areas, and that also acts as a uh, corrosion inhibitor because it's, it's basically sealing it so oxygen can't get to the copper, oxygen and moisture, and cause, cause it to corrode again. So there you go. There's just a, an easy way to clean corrosion off of uh, battery terminals.